welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the J-Lo butt exercises that are best for building a booty. These are my 20 booty exercises for tone and shape butts. So to do this challenge, you are going to choose any one of these 20 exercises to add to your routine. You can do three sets of 15 to 20 reps, anywhere from one to three times per week. So I'm going to put more information about that in the description below. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And if you are here to find out more about the $2,000 prize giveaway and the keyword for this video, be sure to go to the end of the video and you will find it there. Hope you enjoy the video. For the first exercise, we're going to be doing the reverse hack squat single leg assisted. So using the hack squat machine, you are going to go down to a squat position. I'm assisting the weight by pressing my toe down right beside my other foot. So you're gonna squat down, knees are bent at a 90 degree angle, and you're gonna use that toe to take some of that weight off, and you're just going to stand straight up, and all the weight is in the straight leg as you come up. You're gonna really feel this exercise in your glute muscles, this is actually a really intense exercise. I always warm up with no weight and I start very, very light, especially when I'm doing single legs on this exercise because all the weight is, all your body weight is being lifted by you and um, that's why I'm doing the assisted. I know I have seen some people do this move where they don't assist the other leg and those girls must be extra strong but um, give this exercise a try and see how it works for you i love this exercise it's probably one of my most favorite glute exercises you really feel it it targets really really good and i hope that you love it all right exercise number two is the assisted chin-up machine press down so this is usually done on a chin-up machine, but um, this is a really bad angle. It's hard to see from where I put the camera, but basically you're just going to put your foot on the cushion and you're just gonna press down. So you'll feel this a lot in your glute muscles. You're pressing down with your knee bent at a 90 degree, and you should be lifting your toes up off the cushions and pressing your heel into the cushion and that's how you're going to get the most out of this move. Exercise number three is the reverse, sorry, the reverse hack squat. J-Lo booty exercise. So you are going to do the reverse squat, putting your shoulders into the pads. And this time you're using both legs at the same time. So you're bending both knees at a 90 degree and you're just gonna squat back, try and take all the weight off of your toes and focus all your weight into your heels. So when you're pressing up, your weight is in your heels and when you lift, you're gonna really push your hips forward and that way you'll feel it the most in your glutes. And you're just gonna repeat this exercise for the number of repetitions in your Bikini Fit program. The next move is the cable squat walks. So using a cable machine, you are going to just hold onto it as I'm showing you in the video. And you're just gonna take these tiny little steps, kind of like you're waddling. <laughs> just side to side, little tiny little steps. So I'm going forward four times and then backwards four times. And really try and focus on going side to side. It really works the sides of your glutes extra and really burns out your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings all at the same time. And now this move actually is even harder if you use booty bands. 
Okay, the next exercise is the cable kickbacks with the cables. And I'm using a special kind of foot attachment here, as you can see. Uh, I really like this one as opposed to the other options, which I'll show you here later in the video. But it's just way better to use this if you have it available because otherwise the attachment kind of will slip up your leg. So to do this exercise, make sure that you're holding your abs in tight. You're gonna bend over and attach the attachment to your ankle and kick back. I like to go up for two, hold for one, and then down for two. That's how I usually do my tempos. And make sure that you always start with your weakest leg first when you're doing unilateral exercises. Um, I always start with my left leg when I'm doing these because my left side is weaker than my right and I don't want it to overpower my right side. So now on to the right side and again it's up for two, hold for one, down for two. So make sure to pay attention to that just so that one side of the body doesn't start to become lazy and that way you're keeping really good track of the tempo and the repetitions. Um, which is why I always start with my left leg because the left leg will give out before the right. So if I'm doing 15, then I know the left can do 15, then I only do 15 on the right, if that makes sense. So this is the attachment I was talking about. Um, see how it's kind of sliding up my leg? So this is obviously a problem because it's taking away from my concentration on doing this exercise. Um, I just wanted to show you how this little attachment is not nearly as efficient as the one that hooks to your foot because this thing always rides up my leg and it's just I'm constantly like pushing it down and I'm feeling kind of like I'm wobbling because of that so I wanted to show you that. All right the next booty exercise is the stability ball hamstring curl. So I like to dig my heels into the middle of a stability ball and then roll it in. Um, I'm very conscientious about lifting my hips up. So instead of just rolling it in back and forth, you also lift the hips and kind of do a tilt at the same time. That really helps to target the under uh, part of your butt that attaches to your hamstring there. So this is the leg press machine. I'm using this machine at a hotel gym. So they oftentimes have this particular machine at hotel gyms I find. And it's the leg press that pushes away from you. So again, because we're targeting the glutes, I want you to really focus on your heels being the main point of pushing. Um, you wanna basically lift your toes up off the platform, just be aware that your toes should be lifting and you shouldn't be pushing with the weight with your toes as much as with your heels. And you should really feel that in your glutes. The next exercise is, it's a hamstring exercise, but the hamstring ties into the glute muscles. And so we still wanna work that area when we're targeting the glutes, I think. So this is the straight leg, deadlift using the cable machine and I love this move it's one that I've been integrating into my leg stays more now than ever before and I really like this move because you're pulling from a different angle and I just feel it in a whole new way compared to the dumbbells or the barbell it's nice to mix it up and I find you can go pretty heavy on this move. This is the raised leg lunge. And I love this move for the glutes just because it really targets them extra good. So you can do this exercise with a barbell, dumbbells, kettlebells, any kind of weights really to increase the intensity. I'm just taking it easy here. But the main point is to make sure that your knee is 
directly over top of your ankle as you come down you're bending your knee at a 90 degree and as you come up you're straightening that leg and you're going to really feel it in your glutes so you're just going to repeat that for the number of repetitions in your program and make sure that you always start again with uh, the weak leg, I always start with my left leg just because that's my weaker leg and then move on to the right to keep the sides even. This is the assisted pistol squat using the bench. So this was actually shot from another video that I had filmed about a month ago and I'll tag it in the video so that you can see all the other exercises. But basically I'm doing a pistol squat modified and I'm using my hands to lift up. And this is basically just using a bench to do a single leg squat. It's kind of getting you warmed up for the potential of a full pistol squat. And uh, you basically just sit down on a bench with one leg lifted and or you can you, you can assist with the other toe that's how i assist it's just by kind of pointing my toe and using it just a little bit to take the weight off the working side it's a very difficult move if you're not used to doing single leg squats it's kind of a shocker the next exercise is the squat walks with resistant bands so just in a squatting kind of position you are going to walk out to the side with a band attached to your just above your knees and you're gonna count how many steps you take I generally do anywhere from 15 to 20 and then go the other way I always start with my weaker side just to make sure that I'm keeping it even and that I can handle the amount of repetitions so this is the pistol squat using the TRX bands. Um, I'm doing this with my girlfriend, my friend Jolene, I'll tag her Instagram on here and the video that we did together. Um, she's now doing the side steps and I am doing the pistol squats. This isn't really my exercise routine. This is actually one of Jolene's exercise routines from our previous workout we did. But basically, do, using the TRX bands, you're just going to squat, squat way down with the resting leg out. It doesn't even really feel like it's resting because you actually feel that a lot in your quadricep because you're not used to sticking your leg out like that. And the working leg, that would be my left leg in this video, is, uh, I just switched sides now to my right, but you're basically going to squat down, the knee is going to come over top of the ankle and you're just going to lift up. You can cheat a little bit by using your biceps to kind of pull. Um, Jolene's going to show us how she does it. And she's the real pro here. But using the TRX, she's squatting down the knee right over top of the ankle and standing straight up. Using all the weight in the foot that's on the floor, mainly in the heels is where she's pushing from. And then if you need to cheat a little bit, pull up using the arms. This is a great exercise for the booty, for really shaping and toning the legs. And then she's gonna move on to the other side and repeat for the same number of repetitions that she did on the other side. Now, if you haven't done this exercise before, I highly recommend it just because it's a unique move and it keeps things really interesting and it's definitely very challenging. Um, you'll feel it all over your body, your arms and your core and your legs. Uh, Jolene's a surfer so these are some of the moves that she used to prepare for her surf championship. This is the walking lunge with a plate overhead. So Jolene's also showing us this move and it's basically just a walking lunge, stepping forward and then lunging again with a plate overhead. 
So the big focus here, if you want to focus on your glutes, is to go down, up, and then forward. That will really help target the glutes, especially because the quads have that tendency to take over on this move when you step forward. But this is a great move for targeting the glutes, especially with that added weight overhead. The step up lunge back on a high step. So Delene's showing us again, this is another move that she uses to train for surfing champ championships. But basically, you're going to step up with the right leg and then lunge back. And then you're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna do the same number of repetitions on the right as you would on the left. It gets a little confusing because the movement is so similar from one side to the next, but just lead with the one leg, do the repetitions and then switch sides. So this is a great exercise for stability as well as training those glutes. That really high step is really good for targeting the glutes as well, just because it's such a high step that it really targets the glutes in an extra special way. All right, this is the reverse BOSU ball squat with a weighted ball. So I like this move just because the BOSU ball adds a little extra required stability. So squatting down, you're going to squat down and then throw the stability ball overhead and grab it. When you are standing up, really straighten all the way. That will really target the glutes and squat all the way down. I like to go down to about a 90 degree and then stand up and toss that ball. This move also, because of the stability, will work all the different areas of your leg, your calves, your quads, but just using proper squat form will target the glutes as well. This is the sled push runs glute focused with my, my friend Jolene and she's quite strong. So there's three plates there and this move actually really is great for the glutes. This, when you run, it really burns out the glutes and you feel it really in the underbutt area. So you'll definitely have to try the sled if you haven't tried it yet. But I recommend going a little bit lighter because Jolene's quite a bit stronger than I am, but I thought that I would just try this weight anyways. And I was very, very slow at pushing it. So you might want to try one plate or two plates to start. <laughs> and uh, also try and warm up into it just because the ankles sometimes aren't used to this kind of weight um, being up on your tippy toes like that so it's best to start light and ease yourself into it but the running and pushing that weight at the same time you really do feel that in the underbutt so if you're looking to burn fat and build a booty at the same time this is a great little exercise to throw in between sets or even at the end of a booty workout. As you can tell, I'm just snailing along and be sure to check out the full workout that we did as well. I'm gonna link it here. This is the glute kickback standing at home variation. So I'm not using any weight here and honestly, you can do 20 to 25 reps of this exercise and get a really good booty workout at home um, the leverage of your leg is increasing uh, the weight as opposed to a bent knee. Uh, I think this video is slightly fast forwarded, but basically um, I like to do a tempo of up for two, hold for one, down for two. <laughs> so um, you can also do pulses with this move. It's great for at home, for an at home booty exercise. This is the dumbbell deadlifts for the glutes. So the 
dumbbells are just gonna slide down the front of your legs and then stand upright and squeeze the glutes. So you should be feeling this in your hamstrings as well as your glute muscles, but the glutes and the hamstrings are attached to each other. So I like to include this move because they basically work together in this move. Make sure that you hold your abs in tight when you're doing this exercise to protect your back. Loop bridge exercise, uh, you can do it with bands or with a plate on your pelvic bone. But basically with your knees bent and having your knees directly over top of your ankles, you're just going to do a little hip thrust and a booty squeeze. So you're gonna go up for two, hold for one, down for two, and you're just gonna tap the butt down and then lift up again. So there's no resting in this exercise, you're just gonna tap and then lift up. You can also do a glute bridge single leg. So with the knee directly over top of the ankle, you're just gonna push the weight up so you're going to do a hip thrust, pushing your hips up, and the weight should be in your heel. So you can see I was kind of lifting my toes there to show you that the weight is in my heel. And you're going to go up for two, hold for one, down for two. And then switch sides. So you should really feel this in the glutes when you do this. You want to make sure that your abs are in tight. Okay, how to qualify to win. Okay, so the very first thing you got to do is you have to join the seven day challenge Facebook page. I will be posting the link below this video. The second thing you got to do is you must subscribe to the Bikini Fit YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss a Bikini Fit workout. Number three, is go to bikinifit.com and make sure to download your free mini cookbook. So it has, I believe, 15 free recipes from my cookbook, the Bikini Mall Cookbook, and this gives you a little sample size so you can try out some of the recipes right away and make sure to download that. Number four, like this video and comment below the video. And what I want you to comment is, what three exercises are you going to add to your workout programs this week? And number four, you're going to go to NutriShop USA on Instagram. I'm going to tag them here. And Bikini Fit Coach on Instagram. And the Bikini Mall, sorry, the Bikini Fit Challenge on Instagram. And you're going to comment below on the newest picture of both of our pages and say, I am working my booty this week. And that is what you're going to comment on one of our most recent pictures on Instagram to qualify for the $2,000 prize giveaway, which includes a 12-week body transformation valued at $1,500, a Bikini Fit membership valued at $120 US, and a copy of the Bikini Mall cookbook in print, as well as $300 of NutriShop supplements as a gift card. So you can pick whatever you want from the NutriShop website. So that's very exciting. Thank you to NutriShop. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Video number five is coming out real soon. And I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.